The next method is the fourth method we call the combine combine aerodynamics and energy balance method. Okay. Why we have to use this because the the both method is a limitation for aerodynamics method. We assume that energy supply is not limited, but by the energy balance method, we assume that web pump a web pump stance point is not limited, but normally both are both factors are limiting limiting. So we have to combine together to find the uh, evaporation. The we have to introduce one more parameter. Uh, we call the Bowen Bowen ratio. Beta Bowen ratio. We, they found that the heat and the white web pressure and is in a similar trans transfer by the convection. So we can assume that uh, the one this parameter is the ratio between the uh, heat and water vapor vapor. Okay, based on this we can develop the equation of the energy energy blood equation using the in term of the Bowen ratio. Okay. Uh, for the transport equation for vapor and heat we both come from the the convection. So above equation is from vapor. And below is from heat. Okay, so we can find the the, <coughs> the ratio of this vapor and we do, uh, divide heat divided by vapor. Okay, so we got this equation, and we substitute Q V in term of the E O P. Okay, and final we got the equation of beta and it's a function of gamma and then we have the equation of the gamma we're going to use this for the next step and <coughs> the combination method is the first developed by Penman in 1940s so this is equation for combination method okay so gamma <coughs> this gamma from above is a cycle we call a psychometric constant and this delta is gradient of saturated vapor pressure is from lecture number four okay from this equation and gamma and delta is to be the like the <coughs> the bedding factor okay this one is like the bedding factor in front of the the EI is from energy and EA from aerodynamics okay EI is mean uh, evaporation rate from energy and EA is a uh, operation rate from aerodynamics okay and this this weighting factor is is combination it should be one okay the weighting factor sum is to be one <coughs> okay the next topic uh, the next if in some the in some uh <coughs> This equation, the bulk equation, is is combination method is suited suit for the small area with the detailed climatic climatological data. So we require a lot of uh, data. For example, net radiation, air temperature, humidity, wind speed, and air pressure. But for a large area, there is no data. And we found that the energy equation, energy plan is the Open the operation. Okay. So the second term operation from the aerodynamics is about thirty percent of the first term. So we can uh, rearrange this equation 
and Priestley Taylor equation to be the, the Priestley Taylor equation. So if we know the equation from the energy and we just multiply by the factor lambda k in front of this term so we got the uh, in uh, operation okay, example show how to use the combination method okay in this case the net radiation is 20 watt a uh, 200 watt per square meter and temperature is 25 degree relative humidity 40 percent wind speed is 3 meter and record high is 2 meter I mean the set 2 is 2 meter and pressure is 101.3 uh, kilopascal so we get ER from the energy method from the previous example and EA aerodynamics method from the previous example and we estimate the uh, this is a uh, latent heat of operation and for CP is a constant, so we just substitute to find the gamma. Okay, gamma we got 67.1 Pascal per degree Celsius. Next, we find the delta and we estimate ES first from temperature and substitute in the equation of uh, delta. We got delta is about 180. 88.7 Pascal. So next we find the wetting factor for this one. The first wetting factor is 0 0.1, 0 0.7, this one 0 0.26. Okay, and we substitute in the equation of the combination. So we got the operation used using the combination method is about. 7.2 millimeter per day. And an example for the Beasley Taylor method. So we just use only the first term and multiply by the 1.4, uh, 1.3. So we got uh, 6.8 millimeter per day.